Painted turtles are one of the most common turtles in North America. They are very widespread and great turtles for seeing out in nature. Hi, I'm Amy. Welcome to my channel. I'm pretty excited to talk about painted turtles today because it's spring and I've been out hiking. So this is a pond near my home and on this sunny April day, I found this group of painted turtles soaking up the spring sunshine. There are three subspecies of painted turtles, eastern, midland, and western, and a species down in the deep south. Painted turtles are easy to identify. They have an olive green carapace, that's the top, and a cream to orange colored plastron or bottom shell. The coloring varies with the subspecies a bit. Look for the yellow stripes on their faces and necks, bleeding into red along the legs. Here is the plastron of the western painted turtle. It is just beautiful. Basking is important for many reasons. The sun helps raise their body temperature, which helps them metabolize and hunt for food. It also helps them get rid of parasitic leeches. Painted turtles live in shallow bodies of water, ponds, marshlands, and slow-moving creeks. When you approach a pond or creek, walk slowly so not to startle them. If they sense danger, they plop back into the water. If you're patient and stand quietly, they will cautiously come back out on their log. Painted turtles have some pretty cool adaptations that allow them to live in the northern states and up into Canada. Painted turtles can go long periods without any oxygen. It's like they flip a switch in their bodies to deal with the lack of oxygen in the water. This tends to build up lactic acid, but the calcium in their shells can be used to help neutralize the lactic acid so it's not harmful to their bodies. They can also tolerate ice crystals forming in the body. So while you are out next winter ice skating on the local pond, remember the painted turtles down in the mud not breathing at all. Painted turtles are omnivores. As hatchlings, they tend to eat more insects and small fish. Adults eat a variety of foods ranging from vegetation to crawdads to water lily seeds. They are also the prey of many animals. Raccoons eat young turtles as well as raid nests. A hatchling only has a 19% chance of surviving its first year. Herons and cranes also eat young turtles. Painted turtles are sometimes confused with the red slider turtle. They both have yellow face stripes, but the red slider has a distinctive red oval-shaped mark just behind the eye. They also have a rounder top shell. Sliders are also common pond turtles. Painted turtles have long claws. The males use their claws in a courtship dance to woo the females. Not a painted turtle, but a good shot of a tortoise laying eggs. The sex of the painted turtle babies is determined by the temperature during their time as an embryo. Cooler temperatures produce males, while well, warmer temps, typically above 84 degrees, produce females. Females will often lay two clutches, one in spring and one in fall. The hatchlings come out of the egg after about 75 days. Those born in spring leave the nest and head to the water. Fall hatchlings may overwinter down in the nest. One reason for this is that babies cannot hold their breath as long as an adult, so can't survive under the ice. Please drive slowly on the roads, especially in spring. Turtles are often out looking for mates and food sources. They don't understand roads. It's up to you to help keep them safe. Painted turtles are popular in Native American folklore, and turtle shells are often made into instruments. This rattle is made from a box turtle shell. I hope this video was helpful to you. Check out my video on turtle homing next. 
Painted turtles are easy to spot in your local pond, so plan a hike today and look for them basking. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and have a sunny day.